Hello and welcome to Sword Butchery. My name is Michael and today we are going to be looking at cutting up a whole lamb. So I'm going to split this video into a few different videos. We're going to start in this one with cutting the lamb into its primal cuts. So what that means is we're going to take off the shoulders, the legs, we're going to be left with the loin and then we're going to take off the breasts. So that takes away the different cuts that the shoulders which need longer slower cooking, the loin which can cook more quickly and then the legs as well. So we're going to be separating those different joints uh, due to the, the time that they take to cook and what we might do with them next. So once we've got those into the primal cuts then I'll do some other videos into then how to prepare the legs, shoulders, loin and breast from there. So the tools we're going to be using for this video and the tools that you might need at home as well is we're going to be using a large steak knife, a small boning knife, uh, I've got a saw here as well so you know this is a proper meat saw but if you've got some kind of home saw um, then that'd be really good. Uh, I've got my steel to keep my knife sharp and then obviously I'm wearing a chainmail glove I've also got chainmail apron on today, so uh, safety is really important. But I think as a minimum, you need one of these uh, cut-proof gloves on Amazon, eBay, all, all the main websites. They cost like five quid. So, you know, that's kind of the minimum of what you're gonna be needing for safety-wise. So I'll put the link in the description. They cost nothing, and it's gonna really help to, to make sure that you stay safe when doing this. So. Uh, we'll start off by removing the shoulders and then we'll go from there. So here we go. So like I said, we're going to start off by taking off these shoulders. So the first thing we're going to do is flip the lamb and then we're going to look inside the actual lamb itself. And we're going to count from this shoulder section back six ribs. So we're going to look inside and count one, two, three, four, five, six. So then between the sixth and the seventh rib, we're then gonna use our large steak knife to then cut between these ribs. So, there we go, between six and seven, I'm gonna cut all the way through, just the bone, your bones will keep you in the right place. And then I'm gonna use my saw to then cut through. There we go, through to the other side. We need to make sure that when we're using the saw, we're listening out to where, make sure we know when to stop. So as soon as we, we cut through the bone, we then stop using that saw. So we use our knife to cut through meat, and we use the saw to cut through bone. Otherwise, if you, you're sawing at meat, it, it makes a bad job. It doesn't look very neat. So let's cut these shoulders off. Get through this bit of cartilage at the top. Can use the saw if you struggle to get through there, but a knife will get through. And there we go, shoulders are off. So that was nice and easy. So we'll pop those to one side and then we can now take the legs off. So with the legs, we want to be feeling for, there's a dip in the back just there. Now that is just the end of one of the bones called the H bone. Uh, so we're feeling for that bone there. So, and then we're just gonna cut straight across again. And we should be through to the middle. If you cut too far towards the leg, and then you find though you're not getting through to that middle spinal bone, then you're hitting the H bone. So you just need to move a bit more across to where the shoulders, where the shoulder ends. So, cutting through there. And then we can use our saw again. The thing with this, when you're doing this, is you know, don't panic. The, you know, the, you can't, you can't go too far wrong with this. You know, if you cut one way or the other and have to use the saw a bit more, it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, we just want to make as best a job as we can. So that's the legs off there. And then we just need to take the breasts off this line now, and then we've cut uh, the first stage of it into our primal cuts. So really nice and easy, you know, this isn't hard stuff at the moment. So peel these breasts back so we can see a bit better. And then we want to 
mark it of a lamb chop's length. So I would say that would make a, a nice lamb chop around about there. So where, where, where you think a normal lamb chop would be, cut about there, so whatever you think. And then we mark it the same side, the other side. So nice lamb chop's length. And then we can just join those two points together with our knife. So we're cutting through the meat. We don't want to be sawing through the meat, remember? And then we can use our saw. And then finish with our knife to cut through. So that's one breast off. And then we can do exactly the same on the other side, mark at that end, mark at the other end, join the two together, and once again, using our saw. And then cut through. So when you're using the saw, you don't need to put loads of pressure on, so, you know, just little cuts until you start to feel as though it, it's easy to get through and then that's when you can use those bigger, longer strokes. So there we go. We've got our lamb now split into its primal cuts. We've got our loin, our middle layer. So all of our lamb chops, uh, racks of lamb, Barnsley chops, all come off this section here. We've got our breast of lamb. You can use these for mints, burgers, you can do them into little riblets or just a slow roast them as a whole. Our legs, so we can have some legs staked off here, joints of course, uh, our lamb shanks come off here as well, so lots of flavour in there. And then our shoulders as well. Once again, we can mince or stew these or we can roll them uh, or just cook them as they are. Nice long slow cook, absolutely packed with flavour. So. That's our lamb into its primal cut, so really nice and easy to begin with. So look out for the next videos where we'll be cutting the rest of the lamb up and going through the next stages uh, to produce some great chops, joints, uh, and mince and stew as well. So hope you enjoy those. Give us a like and a subscribe. Thanks very much.